This is a vernier caliper. It can measure uh, lengths of up to 13 centimetres, and the smallest measuring increment on it is a tenth of a millimetre. Hello and welcome to Underdog Physics. Today we'll be looking at how to use a vernier caliper. Towards the end of the video I'll be showing you how I'm using a vernier caliper with my little guitar project. Most vernier calipers have five important parts. A sliding window with a scale on it, a central scale, calipers for measuring external lengths, calipers for measuring internal lengths, and a sticky outy bit to measure depths. Before we use the caliper to make some measurements, let's have a look at that vernier scale. As you can see on this caliper, there's two sets of scales on the main scale. One is metric, so centimetres, and one is imperial, in inches. The vernier scale works the same way for both of these things, so I'll concentrate on using it for metric measurements in this video. I'm going to open up the vernier scale to just about one centimetre. I'll actually aim for about a centimetre and half a millimetre because this will help me show you how the vernier scale works. Looking at our vernier caliper, it's important to focus on the scale inside this window first. The main part of our measurement comes from this main scale. We look for where the leftmost mark on the window frame lines up on the scale inside the window. As you can see, the leftmost window mark is just to the right of our mark for the 1.0 centimetre, which we can see inside that window. We may be tempted to round this just to one centimetre, or to audaciously announce that our measurement is one centimetre and probably half a millimetre out. Good news! We don't have to do either of those things. The tricky part about using a vernier caliper is using the vernier scale to get those tenth of millimetre readings. What we're looking for is the first window marking that lines up perfectly with a marking on the main scale within that window. If we take a closer look, we can see that the fifth window marking lines up best with a marking inside the window. This means that our measurement is in fact 1.05 centimetre, or 1 centimetre and 0.5 millimetre. For my next reading, I'll take a width measurement of the fretboard just next to the nut on my guitar. Four point two one centimetre. Just before I forget, it's worth closing the jaws of the vernier caliper to see if our caliber is zeroed correctly. Oh dear, looks like our caliper is under reading. When it's supposed to be zero, it's actually minus 0.02 centimetre. Ah well, that just means our measurement for the fretboard width is actually 4.23 centimetre. Now that we've got the hang of the vernier scale, remember that we can use it to measure things in three different ways. I'll demonstrate using this uh, milk bottle lid. External diameter, internal diameter, and depth. For depth, we simply rest the edge of the caliper on the lip of whatever it is we're measuring and extend the sticky outy bit as needed. And there we go. I'm going to use this vernier caliper as part of my little guitar project. Like I said in an early video, I'm going to take it completely apart. That way I can clean everything properly. And that includes the bridge and the saddles on it. It's really quite dirty. The saddle positions are adjusted to ensure that the intonation of the guitar is correct. I could just take them all apart, clean them, and stick them back together in one row. But that means I'll be starting completely from scratch when I do my intonation adjustments. This isn't a big problem, but seeing as the vernier caliper is so quick to use, I might as well take some measurements before I take the bridge apart, just so I can put it back together as it was before I cleaned it, so I can adjust my intonation from that point rather than completely from square one. Here we go. Thanks so much for watching. If you're interested in seeing the before and after cleaning videos, just wait until after the uh, credits. But otherwise, I hope you found this useful and feel free to like, share and subscribe. <laughs>